Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about something called Quakehold Museum Putty and how it might fit into your video productions and filmmaking endeavors. So let's get started. Before we get into this, we're gonna talk about this. And this is one of my favorite books having to do with lighting. I have more than one copy. It's called Matters of Light and Depth. It is by Ross Lowell. If you've been around for a while, like me, and a lot of you out there, you may recognize that name, Lowell. That's Lowell Lighting. Ross Lowell was a cinematographer uh, turned entrepreneur, designer, all of those things. Really, in my mind, the guy who kind of, from a lighting standpoint, really focused on creating products for small to no crew production. So some really great stuff that I've used over the years. I still have a pro light or two. I still have a total light, though that thing can be considered, even though it puts out a lot of nice, beautiful light, a little bit of a fire hazard. Um, not because it's electrically wired incorrectly, but it's just not really the type of light that I would use nowadays with some of the lights that we have available to us. But that DP light, uh, also a great one. And uh, the other one that I have in my kit is the Omni, which has always been a favorite, especially when pushing it through modifiers. So this book, um, Lowell's take on lighting, lots of stuff, one light setups. We've got two light setups. He talks about exteriors, color temperatures, and even uh, cheating, but in the honest way. So when you're just cheating your angle or you're cheating a table up, um, and you know, it's just, in my mind, still a very valid book. Some of the equipment inside of it, some is outdated, but it's definitely about craft as well. So make sure you pick up a used copy of that if you've never taken a look at this book. It's not gonna cost you a lot of money. I'll have a link to it below the fold. And there's even a glossary. So I was uh, in PDX, that's Portland, Oregon, um, airport code this past weekend. Northwest Film Center had a summit with a number of vendors, uh, worked out a little issue having to do with some problems with audio and the Fujifilm X-T3. Turns out the main culprit, believe it or not, was an SD card, crazy sauce. Uh, but I ran into Jeremy, who is an Aperture, the lighting company, Aperture Ambassador, and he and I were talking. Uh, Creative Jeremy Gay is his company based out of Los Angeles, and he said, hey, have you ever used um, that stuff, that putty for video production applications? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. So while I was standing there at the Aperture table, having a chat with him, he and I looked this up on Amazon. It's the Quakehold Museum Putty. Now this stuff is made by a company that, uh, from what I could tell, makes other products, like to secure your television, but with straps and other things. And this is their putty-based product. So what is it? Well, if we go ahead and open this up and we take a look at it, because I bought two of them, they're only about three, four, five bucks uh, package. You'll see that in this kind of wax paper here is this putty that you can, well, you've seen stuff like this, right? Uh, erasers kind of look like it as well, but it has um, high, low tack. Can I say that? Um, it kind of does. It's, um, it, you know, it, it's really sticky to itself and it works extremely well with, um, certain types of products and certain types of surfaces. It has a lot of strength. I mean, it can actually hold things. Its, it's main purpose is, let's say I had um, these flowers here and this vase or vase, if you want to spend more money on it, and I wanted to hold that down onto a surface, then I could put this underneath there. And if there was, uh, unfortunately, an earthquake, then it should keep that settled down. But, um, Jeremy uses this stuff in video production applications. The first thing that we talked about 
was actually using it with a little light like this, the little Aperture M9, and just sticking a piece of that onto the back of the light and then putting that into a cabinet or underneath uh, somewhere or on the side of something. And so I thought, hey, that makes a lot of sense. I can use that with a little light like this, but what else can I use this museum putty for? So I took some of my kit, some of it's around here, and I tried it out with various different types of products. And what I'm gonna do is talk to you about the things that I think it works well with and the things that it doesn't work well with. So let's go. So the first application is with this little M9 light from Aperture. And my recommendation is when you're using a hard surface for mounting, that what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this putty here and put it onto the actual surface here. Now you could just mount this right away, and the trick is push it and just give it a little bit of a twist there. But if you really, really want a secure fit, I'm just gonna leave this underneath here on the island, and then I'm gonna put another piece here back onto the light, and you're essentially putting two together to create a stronger bond, a little bit of a rotation there, and then I can just mount that, turn it on, and of course this would work very well under cabinets, inside of cars, and lots of other applications. All right, so the second application of using this museum putty is behind me, and um, I've talked about this in prior episodes and in my workshops. I always travel with this little Tenba bag, and on one side is a six foot by six foot silent light grid cloth from Matthews, it has grommets, it has elastic, um, and then on the other side, I have the tie-offs for it and some little A-clamps, and for some reason today, there's an HDMI 2.0 cable in there. Go figure. Um, and that's it. So I wanted to see if I could actually use this product when I was putting something like this up without having to use gaffer's tape or something else. And I can, in fact, this has been hanging here now for a good hour and a half or so. And so I'm really confident in being able to use it at least on something like that molding. Um, I am gonna talk to you in a minute about one little problem that I've run into when using this product on certain types of surfaces. So let's go ahead and jump over and talk about that. I wanted to know, could I use this in place of something else to mount something like a one by one flex light? So having this stuff in all four corners, I attached it to this wall, but here's the thing. This wall is this, well, I'm from the East Coast, so I'm not used to this. This is this orange peel stuff. You can go in, on the West Coast into a Lowe's or a Home Depot and buy this stuff in a can to touch up stuff. It's an alien product to me, but not only do we have this orange peel, um, but all walls in here are matte or flat. And I have found that at least this particular product, even though it will stay up for a period of time and it might stay in place, that when I left this for a period of time on this particular surface, at a certain point, it released from the wall and kaput and it went down. So what I'm gonna show you right now is it actually being put onto a completely different surface in our dining room. Um, it's a much flatter surface, it's a little shinier, and by using it on that surface, I had this one by one flex up on there for again about two hours and it didn't fall at all. So it really does have to do with the surface that you are attaching it to. And that's gonna be based on you guys doing some tests with your products and making sure that they work. All right, there you have it. That's Quakehold Museum Putty. Thank you, Jeremy, for the recommendation. This will definitely be a part of my regular traveling kit now for small to no crew production, along with things like gaffer tape, bongo ties, heavy duty Velcro, and of course, C47s, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that we can grow this channel and I can spend more time with my team on creating free educational content having to do with photography, video production, filmmaking, all of that good stuff. 
I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited. I'm going to LA. I'll be back Thanksgiving week. We're still going to do an episode. I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.